The beauty of this book, I think, is the incredible richness of the stories that we heard from all of the CEOs who were interviewed. It's really rare, you don't often get to hear directly from CEOs, warts and all, about their first few weeks and months in the CEO role, what went well, what went badly. And all of the CEOs we spoke to were incredibly generous with their time and with their stories. So I think reading the book, it gives you a privileged opportunity to begin to understand a little bit more what it's like to walk a few miles in their shoes. Yeah, it was an absolute privilege to mm. hear and now be able to share the stories. And what was interesting was there were so many of the aspects that were similar. You know, we talk about you know, organisations being unique and transitions being unique, but there were some real common themes that, uh, that apply regardless of your situation. Mm. One that really stood out for me was about dealing with the uncertainty when you are a new CEO. Carol Tomei from UPS uh, explained it as, you never get a clear shot at anything. You're always constantly facing these series of contradictions and paradoxes, and it makes it very difficult to get your bearings. The pressure around making the final decision, not having anyone to pass that over to, um, the area around judgment calls, which are decisions that don't have right or wrong answers, uh, can make this process really difficult. I love the way Lisa McGowan, CEO of Pets at Home, explained it. She said, you're often having to choose between the least worst option of three options, and then having to perform alchemy to the organization to convince them that it's a great option. <laughs> I also really appreciated the honesty around the loneliness and how hard the role is. You know, we expect CEOs to be confident and in control and to know all the answers, but the reality is that the, the enormity of the role just makes it incredibly intense and difficult.